Good morning, River Heights. How are you today? It's a happy Monday today. Ah, a little warm, but you know what? It's all good. It's not 40 below zero, that's for sure. Happy day on that. It's good to see everybody here this morning. I'm glad we could share a little bit together today. Um, let me pray for us, and then I will uh, I want to talk about community today. Uh, Holy Spirit, come. Just come, Holy Spirit. Yeah, just come. Just show us what you have. Show us what you want us to see, Lord. Just thank you for who you are. Just bless our time here together today, and Lord, just reveal yourself to us today in a new way. Thank you, Lord, for just reminding us of who you are and how you want us to, to interact with one another. In Jesus' name, amen. It's good to see everybody here this morning. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Marianne. Good morning, Paul. Um, it is good to see you guys this morning. Uh, I just want to go, just want to talk about community this morning. Uh, it's just, obviously we've been talking about community a lot here on Sundays and, but it just resonates with me as I go home, uh, live on a cul-de-sac and good morning, Melissa. Um, I'm just reminded just how people kind of go into their driveways, open the garage door, and as they pull in the garage, they shut it. And it's just, I just saw that happen a couple times this weekend. It was just kind of, oh, that stinks. Um, you know, I, I want to be, I want to, I want to be the person, good morning, Lynn. I want to be the person that talks to people, that sees people, that um, uh, kind of almost invites people without inviting, if you know what I mean. Um, hi, Therese. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, Sue. Um, <clears throat> and so it's just great to be just, you know, just wanted to talk about community this morning. And um, you can think about your community, like where you're at or our church community, however you want to view this. Um, but I know that um, what Acts 2 is talking about is a community of, of believers, a community, so like a church. Um, but the church isn't a building either. So the church is the people. Um, so anyway, so I just want to talk about community today for just a little bit. Um, and just what that looks like and how maybe we can do things a little differently. Good morning, Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> uh, Acts chapter two, uh, starting in verse 42, uh, says all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's supper and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with all those in need. They worshipped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. You know, you think about community, you think about what it means. What does community mean? Um, does it mean the city you live in, the neighborhood you live in? Does it mean uh, the people you're friends with? Um, does it mean the people you're not friends with? Um, you know, community, I mean, community here is talking about the, the fellowship of believers and, and the believers that were uh, believing in Christ and meeting together. And it's crazy. They met, we meet once, once, maybe, you know, some of us meet two or three times a week, um, you know, small groups and, and maybe hang out together. And, but Sundays we all meet together and, but they met daily, like they met daily. That's just, that's interesting to me. They, they met together in one place. Um, they met daily for 
uh, the apostles' teaching and miraculous signs and wonders. What have we met daily? Whoa. Mind blown, right? What if we met daily? <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Um, but they shared meals together. They did a lot of things together. And uh, being a part of community is important. I mean, it gives us uh, the opportunity to be honest and vulnerable. Uh, being a part of a community uh, builds us up as we are being built up and as we can help others be built up. It just help us, helps us to discover our gifts and our talents so that we can help other people. Um, it helps us learn uh, as they learn from us. So we're all learning constantly. Um, and it helps to see a bigger picture of who God is uh, in the world around us and in ourselves and who he is uh, around us, who he is in us. Um, community is important. Being a part of community is important. Um, it's sharing life together. I love that phrase, sharing life together. And that's what it is. We cry together. We, we laugh together. We, um, um, we help each other out. Uh, we don't judge each other. There's no judgment. Um, we hold each other accountable, but there is no judgment. Um, sacrifice. We sacrifice for one another. Um, and we have a meal together. We cook for each other. Um, you know, community is, is very important and it's something that, um, I don't know if we take for granted, but I think community is, is something that is super deep and not a superficial thing. Uh, not that I need to know the intricacies of Lynn Stafford's life, um, but to know about who she is and what she's doing and what is happening. Um, and what's going on. That's community. So we can help each other. So we can love on each other and care for each other and and ask each other questions about, you know, oh, that procedure happened the other day. How did it go? Or, oh, your son is doing this. Um, you know, how is that affecting you? You know, just different things. Community is so, so important. Oh, man, it is so important. And I have to say, you know, Zoom and online stuff, as long as, ha, Lynn, I'd be bored. You're funny. Um, but the thing about it is, you know, with COVID and everything and us being, sh Zoom has actually helped bring community together somewhat, not face to face, which now we can do. But we were talking to people and doing things uh, with people and for people that we weren't able to do before. Um because we didn't know who they are, who, who they were or anything. And so Zoom kind of helped us do that. It kind of brought us together a little bit more. Um, I can say that Alpha, we have an Alpha community that um, is bringing people from um, Blooming Prairie to Robbinsdale to Lakeville to, you know, I mean, it's bringing us all together. I wish it was in person, share a meal together and things like that. So it is, it's been amazing, though, to be able to connect with people um, and to share. To, so to share life together in person is phenomenal. On the technology we have today is, is great that we're able to connect with each other. So just so important to, to connect and to stay connected and not be isolated. You know, God didn't create us to be isolated. He created us to be together. Um, and to care. There's so many one another statements and for each other statements and for one another statements in the Bible that, you know, it's just, it's evident everywhere throughout the Bible that uh, we are created to be together, to do things together, to help each other. Um, and you can't do that in isolation. So I would encourage you, um, maybe you know someone, maybe it's you. Sometimes you find yourself in isolation. You know what? I'm not talking about being alone. I got to be alone away from people for like a day. I'm talking about isolation where you just don't be with people for maybe a week at a time. Um, yeah, I just, I want to encourage us to, to really devote ourselves to one another and to help each other um, and to love each other that way. Because, man, God created us to, to care for one another because he cares for us. And that's what he wants us to do is to care for one another. And that's why community is so important. 
Um, yeah, just a couple questions to think about that I was thinking about. And I thought about this for myself. Like, what have I done to enhance my community? Like, what have we done to enhance our community? Whether it's, and I'm going to go outside the, the believer realm, uh, but what have you done to enhance your community? Like your neighborhood, maybe your apartment building, maybe uh, the people on your floor or the, your next door neighbors. Um, like my cul-de-sac, what have I done to enhance community within, within my cul-de-sac? You know, I can do uh, bonfires that would draw people together and, you know, just do things that would draw people together. And what have I done to, to enhance that? Um, and what have we done to, to welcome somebody into our community? What have we done to uh, bring them in? Um, have we asked them? Yeah, just a lot to think about. But community, it, it was just, you know, we've been, like I said, we've been talking about community for so long that it's just so important. And I just keep reading it. Acts is, I love Acts. Acts is a great book of the Bible to read. Um, I would encourage you to read Acts. It talks about community in there, the, the community of believers, uh, what happened and what, what's going on and what's, what's taking place with the community of believers as they come together and worship daily. You know, we used to do these these devotion times. We did them because of COVID, because of isolation. We did them every day, right? Um, and when when we when we did those, people felt somewhat connected. Um, and now that we're meeting together in person, now we're doing devotions Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so, but still, to connect, we just have to stay connected. So I would encourage you just. Maybe somehow, some way, enhance your community this week. Um, not sure what that means. Not sure what that looks like for you. But everybody's different. Everything is different. So I would encourage you, think about what you can do to enhance your community around you. Um, and then enhancing our, our uh, believing community, our church community. What can we do to enhance that as well? Enhance, what does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean for you? Uh, does that mean making the outside look good? Does that mean enhancing our community? What can we do for outreach and evangelism? What can we do? I don't know. So just different things to think about, pray about. So I just want to encourage us to, to keep on um, doing what God's called us to do, and that's be together. So let me pray for us, and yeah, you can go about your Monday. So Holy Spirit, we just thank you for our time here together this morning. And Lord, just thank you for, for community and, and Lord, keeping that out in front of us because that is important. So Lord, just keep that in the forefront of our minds, just community, whether it's even in our own families, Lord, just community. How do we enhance our communities around us? How do we enhance our believing community? So Lord, help us, give us ideas, give us thoughts, give us some great insight. Um, into what you would like to see happen here at River Heights, in our, in our neighborhoods, in our communities right next to us, Lord. So God, just uh, be with my friends today. Give them power. Give them encouragement. Um, give them uh, confidence and strength to do what you've called them to do. So Lord, thank you for showing us that isolation is not always a good thing. So Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. <sighs> there we go. Thank you, Gay. Gay gave us the uh, lowdown, as I just mentioned. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is devotions. I'll take Mondays. Yeah, Justin looks like he's going to Friday. So happy day. God bless you guys. Have a great Monday. It's going to be warm, but you know what? It's better than 40 below zero. All right, guys, have a great day. We will see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.